Hi everybody, it's your favorite videographer here, uh, JP Bushy, and I want to show you guys a couple of really quick, simple ways that I use for scenting baits that don't have scent. A lot of baits nowadays have, uh, you know, salt and scent. Some don't, and some really good ones don't. Um, I'm just thinking off the top of my head here what I can do to add scent and flavor to the lures. And one of the cool things I came up with last winter um, is I just take these bait cloud tubes and in the tube it's like a sleeve of golf balls you've got three three balls take one out chuck it off to the side put the lid back on and give that thing a real good little shake and you got two things now number one is look at all this dust and powder that'll come out of here see that it's just like flour right into the bags those are uh, bass magnet uh, tubes. Here's some Cabela's stuff that doesn't have a great scent on it. Shake some of the powder in there, blah, 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 down the line. The other thing you get when you do that is you can see these balls will chip and break up. There's a chip right there. See that? When we go to rig our tube, remember those old fizzits and things like that, crackle and all that? This is even better. This is garlic scent, uh, bait cloud. Just take that little chip. Drop it in the tube, pound your head in, and Bob's your uncle. You've got a fizzing ball of really, really heavily scented. I've smelt a lot of garlic scent on the market, and, and this uh, Bay Cloud stuff's pretty legit. It's, uh, it stinks. So take that bag, seal it back up, roll everybody in it. Now what we've got is a bag of absolutely plastered and coated with a lot of garlic scent. Bay Cloud. And I'll do that with everything. So there you go.